What's good, y'all, man? It's Cam bringing you another video straight like that. Let's get right into it, dog. Comment down below what you want to see in the next video. Like and subscribe if you was brand new to the channel, man. Let's get it. We on demon time and as usual. So listen, bro. This right here is why gender roles is important, okay? Now, I know what y'all thinking. Oh, gender roles is, is bad. They think of the past, blah, blah, blah. But honestly, they don't need to be a thing of the past. This is, this is, gender roles are something that should continue to go on because they lead to healthy relationships, fellas. They lead to healthy relationships. Look at your look look at look at the power couples of the world. The celebrity power couples. Look at Michelle Obama and Barack Obama. Look at uh uh I don't I don't know, bro. It's a lot of celebrity couples out there. But a lot of these successful couples practice these roles. And a lot of the times you don't you don't even know it. You don't even know it because nowadays, you know, these roles is looked at as bad and they looked at as oppressive and blah, blah, blah. But in reality, the more we get rid of these roles, the more unhealthy relationships become. Look at look at around us. This is not just something that I'm pulling out of my ass. Like, like this is just look around us. Look at relationships now. Relationship relationship culture is ruined. They're toxic. They're unhealthy. They're leading to, 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 to what? To nothing. They're leading to people becoming heartbroken and stuff like that. Relationships is at an all-time all low. You know what I mean? So nowadays... You get in a relationship, right? And it's almost like cheating is being normalized. It's almost like, you know what I mean? It's just all types of stuff being normalized. You know what I'm saying? And this is not normal. Toxic relationships are now the normal. And that's not how things should be. And it's due to the fact that both sides no longer are, are, are pushed to fulfill their role, okay? On both the men and the women's side. Now, I'm going I'm to start with the men, okay? Understand that... It's going to become more and more important for you to become an alpha male as time goes on. As time goes on, it's going to become more important for you to be the dominant alpha male figure that a woman can submit to. Because that's not being pushed nowadays. The more, the more time, I'm going to make the prediction that the more time goes on, the more beta males will be born. The more beta males will be born. Because we already see that in my current generation, I think I'm, I'm, I'm 20 years old, so I think that's Gen Z, something like that. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. But a lot of us, you know have this beta male mentality we have a beta male mentality we have feminine mentality feminine traits all that stuff like that all that stuff that, that that's basically not who we are none of us want to be the masculine alpha male none of us want to be the leader none of us none of us were taught to be leaders at all you know what i'm saying a lot of us have these have these weak tendencies that we have to get rid of a lot of us is simps there's way too many simps out here bruh dudes my age is literally buying only uh, uh ofs my bad I, youtube please don't strike me down but um a lot of dudes my age is down bad, down completely bad, and they pedestalize women. Why do you think channels like my channel are here? Why do you think channels like Steph is Cole, Exo Carlos, AMS, the reason that they're still relevant today is because as time continues to go on, there's more and more simps being born, and more and more people need to learn this. More and more people need to become red pill when it comes to female nature. And more and more people are out here down bad they doing you know what i mean all types of stuff man dudes is dudes is literally putting women above themselves i seen a tiktok the other day where a guy said oh if we in a relationship you are my number one priority meaning that i'm gonna put you above my own self above my own health now these this ain't even a married dude talking this is a guy just talking about women in in relationships bro do you realize that when you get in a relationship with a woman that she was once a stranger to you so now you're putting a woman's health above yours you putting somebody else's priority above your own like come on bro like what are we what are we really doing here why are we not putting value on ourselves but we want to put so much value in other people i understand you know what i mean being in a relationship and wanting to be with somebody but to the point where you're putting your own when you're casting your own health aside for somebody else this is the type of stuff that we're dealing with as men. This is the type of stuff that's not only being uh, uh, being told by a whole bunch of dudes. A, a lot of dudes is telling stories like this. A lot of dudes are saying stuff like this. But this is what's being pushed. This is what's in social media. This is everywhere. The dude is now, the man nowadays is pushed to be a beta male blue pill simp. That's what it is. Even when we grow up, when we're born, you know, what, what do our mamas tell us? What do our mamas tell us? And what do beta fathers tell us? Oh, you have to pedestal, you have to be nice to her, blah, blah, blah. We know nice guys finish last. We know this. So why is it that message being pushed? Why is it so controversial to say that nice guys finish last? As much as we say it, as much as you hear it, why is it not mainstream? Why? 
Why is why is the popular opinion to be a beta male and then disguise it as being a grown man? Why is it a popular opinion to accept a woman with a hundred plus bodies? Why is it popular to a, a opinion to accept a woman that's clearly promiscuous, clearly promiscuous, and, and have to be in a relationship with her? Why is it that we have to accept women making OF accounts and still be in relationships with them? Do you see where I'm going with this? Do you understand where I'm going with this? Because if you don't, I don't know what to tell you. But what I'm saying is the beta male agenda is going to continue to be pushed. So it's more and more important for you, for you to become an alpha male. Why? Because if you ever want to be in a healthy relationship, you have to become an alpha male. Otherwise, you're going to get taken advantage of. And what I mean by taking advantage of is you're going to get control. You're going to get control. Because women is becoming more and more an alpha, more and more alpha. They're stepping out of their role and becoming uh, uh, and stepping into more masculine roles, which I'm going to get to. But you as a man, if you're beta, she's going to control you. She's going to wear the pants in the relationship. She's going to tell you what to do. And that's bad news because who thinks more logically? Men do. And who thinks more emotionally? Women do. So when a woman is wearing the pants in the relationship and she's di uh, directing it and steering it, what do you think she's going to do? She's going to do what's in her own best interest and what she feels. And what she feels, she won't look at the logic. She's going to do what she feels. And a lot of times, what she feels is not what is not what you want to do. Because how many times do I have to go on TikTok and see, she did this to me. She did that to me. She did this to me. How many down bad simps do I have to look at before we finally get it? That being alpha is the move. That's what we need to do as men. Because if you ever want a woman to submit to you, if you ever want a healthy relationship where you wear the pants, you have to be that alpha male that she submits to. She will never submit to a beta male. She will never submit to a beta male because she sees it as weak. She sniffs it out and sees it as weak. That's why any dude that hate on me, all that stuff, I laugh at him and I honestly feel bad for him. Because I know for a fact that they just trying to stand up for this, for this new feminism, modern feminism agenda whole time those same women that he's standing up for is looking at him as a weak man how can you ever call yourself a strong man when you letting women out here control you you beta you have to be alpha in order to be that dominant male because she needs to submit to you in order to have a healthy relationship now understand that if you are in a situation where you living with your partner or you in a fan or you have a family something like that you need to be that dominant male figure you got to be that dominant male figure. You have to put food on the table. You have to put food on the table. Now, you know what I mean? When it comes to working and, and making money and stuff like that, both parties can make money. But you as a man, at the very, very least, need to be the dominant male figure. You need to be the head of the family. That's what you need to do. You need to provide in some sort of way, in a very significant way. You need to lead. That's what it's all about. You need to lead. But she will never follow if you are not a leader, if you a beta male, you can't be a leader. So what does that mean? You need to step into your alpha masculine role as a man. That's what you have to do. And a lot of the times, man, they'll say these gender roles is blah, blah, blah. blah. They, 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 they take a dump on gender roles when, when in reality it's the key to uh, successful relationships. You see so many people being like, oh, what do I got to do? What do I got to do? The answer is right in front of you. The answer is the thing that you don't want to accept. So now let's move over to the women, man. Women nowadays, man, they be claiming that they want to be independent. They want to be men so bad, but they don't want the accountability and responsibilities that come with it. Because tell a woman to pay all the bills in a relationship. Tell a woman to, uh, to take the man's place and be the one that provides and put food on the table. Tell a woman to do that. Nine times out of ten, not every time, but nine times out of ten, she going to be upset about that. She going to be like, oh, you less of a man because I got to do this. Yet you're the one that wanted to do this because you're an quote unquote independent woman because see women want to step into that masculine role now and it's not going to work we already see that it's not working as men continue to step into this masculine role they're expecting they, they, they it's like they contradict themselves they want to be in this masculine role they want men to submit to them and and here's why because of their bodies as we continue, bro, we see women putting so much money into their bodies. They, we see women, women, women uh, saying that their body is the table, that they themselves is the table, and they want men to basically worship them. And we see where that's leading to. Toxic, unhealthy relationships where the woman is running around doing whatever she wants, and now what, what the man is stuck simping for her. The man is stuck, uh, stuck simping for a hoe. Simping for a hoe. That's what it's led to. Simping. 
And it, it's also it's honestly on men and women because women is the ones that that's just trying to pull this or tr trying to do this stuff, and men y'all the ones falling for it. Come on now, fellas. Women are stepping outside of their role and then they're sitting back asking why their relationship failed. Because you won't submit to a man. Because you keep wanting because you as a woman want to get with a beta male so that you can control him and do what you want. And then you claim that you want to you get with a beta male and then you get mad at him for not stepping in his role. Yet at the same time, you want to wear the pants and play the man's role. It don't work like that. Make your mind up. What do you want? Do you want a beta male that you can control or the alpha male? Because I promise you, if you get with that beta male, you as a woman is not going to be happy. You're not going to be happy. Because he's not going to provide his role. He's not going to be able, you're not going to be able to submit to him. It's going to be reversed. And we already see the effects of what happens when she gets with him. We see it today. Look at Flight and his girl. Look at Flight and his girl. We see Flight, as much as successful as he is, as much money as he's making, he's beta. You want to know why he's beta? Because we clearly see who wears the pants. We see that she wears the pants and we see that she's manipulating him. And that's happening all across the world. Women are manipulating men and men is letting it happen. And then women is getting upset because they have to manipulate these men. You see, you see what the problem is? We both, the pro men and women is both the problem. And society is continuing to push the narrative that men should be in a more feminine role and women should be in a more masculine role and it's only going to get worse and worse it's only going to get worse and worse understand this man women your role is to support your man submit to a man and if you in a family and if you in a family or you live with him cook clean take care of the household take care of the children that is your role as a woman and if you don't step into that role then don't be surprised when your relationship goes down the drain. Because so many women don't want that. That's sexist. Blah, blah, blah. It ain't sexist. That is truly 50-50. 50-50 is not, is not breaking gender rules. 50-50 is when you both fulfill your roles. Because they're both equal weights. That's what true 50-50 is. That's where a healthy relationship comes from. But because y'all don't want to do that, because nobody wants to step into the actual role, things ain't going right. Because when you, when, because see, when you hear a woman, when, when you say to a woman, oh, you got to cook clean, blah, blah, blah. That claim is so sexist. But in reality, the same women that's calling that sexist is the same women that's in unhappy relationships. The same women that get with beta males and then complain about the beta males that they with. Don't make no damn sense, huh? But anyway, man, that's all I got for y'all today. I know this is a little bit longer of a video. This is like 13 minutes, man. But uh, that's all I got for y'all. I hope y'all took good notes. I hope y'all understood what I was talking about, man. I love y'all. I'm out of here, dog. Peace.